Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and taking a look at the new DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Now, this is the newest drone from DJI. It is the successor to the Mavic Pro and also the bigger brother to the Mavic 2 Zoom. The Mavic Pro was out for about two and a half years or so, uh, and then DJI, after a bunch of rumors and pushing back the release date, finally put this out to the public. This version right here goes for $14.49. The Mavic 2 Zoom goes for $12.49, so it's a little cheaper, about $200, but with this version here, you're paying extra for the Hasselblad one-inch sensor camera. With that camera, you get 4K 10-bit HDR video, and then, of course, all the new things that you get with the Mavic 2 line, which includes the omnidirectional sensing and the 8-kilometer video transmission, as well as improved flight characteristics. Looking at the box here, pretty pretty boring. It's like an Apple-styled box, kind of, but yeah, that's what you get. It's pretty heavy, honestly. And then I also picked up, for an extra $319, the Mavic 2 Flymore kit. What I do like with this release is that DJI isn't incentivizing you to necessarily buy it right when you get the Pro. Or the Zoom, you know, they're saying, hey, if you want to pick this up first or, you know, give it to someone and then if they want to buy this down the road uh, and get the extra batteries, bag, propellers and stuff like that, it's always going to be $319. It's not like you're going to save money by buying it with the drone. So I'm going to start with this first. It's the boring stuff, but you gotta get it out of the way, kind of like you eat your vegetables before you have dessert. So let's just get to it and see what's in this box. All right, right off the bat is the bag. And I'm guessing a lot of the stuff is in here too, actually. Yeah, because that's pretty much it. There's some instructions and stuff in there, but that's, yeah, that's pretty boring. That's about it. Now, first off, actually, before I get in, let's just look side by side with the Mavic Pro bag it's a little bigger and then built honestly a little more sturdy this is kind of a more almost feels like leather or something i'm not really sure but this is definitely made to stand up to the elements and so that is good right off the bat to see that they're making these a little more substantial uh and less purse looking which hey nothing nothing against wearing a man purse but uh, this just looks a lot nicer opening up the included case that they give you here. We're gonna come to, this is probably the car charger. Now this isn't gonna be useful for everyone, but if you are filming on the go a lot, which you can do with this drone because it folds up so small, a uh, car charger is a nice thing to have. Next in the box is the two batteries it looks like. Or is this a, no, this is a dual battery charger, all right? So this is kind of like uh, the one that they put in with the Mavic Air, where you can fold it down and then you can hook up four different batteries or three different batteries, however many you want to, and it will go through charging one at a time until they're all charged. And then you're good to go. Next in here is the power bank adapter. Now, personally, I've never used this, but I guess if, you know, you're really out there and you only have one of these batteries from the drone charged up or two of them you know and you got to get your mobile device or your controller a little more power i guess this is helpful but personally i already have several power banks that i carry with me all the time pretty much to keep whatever devices i'm using powered up so it's helpful to have but i don't know many people that probably use it next in here are the spare propellers now let's just take a look at them because these are the new quieter propellers that they included first with the Mavic Pro Platinum. So they have these little tips on them that actually will reduce the noise and increase the flight efficiency, which is good that DJI is trying to figure out every way to scrape a little more flight time out. And it looks like the last thing that they bury in here are the batteries. These are tucked all the way underneath this. Now these are also differently designed than the Mavic Pro original one. If we look at one of those batteries, you can see that the new ones are definitely a little more thick and also a little shorter. However, they are the same milliamp hour rating of 3,850. All right, so that looks like it's it for the bag here. Got some foam packed in there, but yeah, that's all you're gonna get in there. Uh, it's a nice carrying case to start out with. And depending on what you're using the drone for, you know, maybe you'll opt to go for something a little more rugged like a GPC case 
or perhaps a pelican case or a nanook or some tighter case like that or just plop it in your backpack honestly uh, this pro is pretty small not as small as the air but still pretty easy to take on the go now without further ado let's get to the drone itself you pull this little tassel here the bottom which i should have done before and sped up the whole process but hey you want to feel like you're actually doing it with me this is what you're going to encounter if you're doing it yourself so here's the cover i can go off to the side for now or on the ground apparently because i don't have any place to put it and we'll open up the box and wow they went with an all matte black interior on this box so just looks like you know you just opened up yeah, maybe they should have added some dry ice in there too for a special effect because it looks pretty sleek and cool all right so let's look at the remote here now this definitely feels a lot more substantial than the previous model if we pull it up here on the side they're about the same weight this one's a little heavier probably but as you can see they have the new design like the mavic air where they have the thumbsticks in here so that you screw them on and you know put them in when you're ready to use it and then put them away when you're ready to travel and it saves you a good amount of room and they're not you know getting in the way so that's cool also of course the different color this one's kind of a more military look whereas this one was the black look that they had originally so yeah this is pretty cool honestly uh it looks a little a little more grip they got on the back here which is nice and of course you got your back c1 and c2 buttons which are cool yeah so nice remote there keeping with the same style but improving some small things now you probably got another battery or a charger here let's take a look at that yeah it's your charging system this is your little power brick that connects to the longer cable which is right here and that connects to the wall and then you connect it to your batteries and charge them up and if you have the fly more combo of course you can connect it to that multi-battery charger now in here you got more additional cables for if you have a android phone or uh, you know one that has usb-c or perhaps one that has a micro usb you got those cables to put on your remote personally i always just pick up a shorter cable like a one foot cable and just connect it to this port on the device because i've found this to be pretty unreliable at times so just pick up a one foot cable on amazon connect it to here and then just connect it to your device and that seems a lot more reliable and doesn't drop the connection as much and then here you got your adapters for this uh, cable which will let you connect to your drone and connect it to your computer and update stuff that way if you don't want to do it using your phone and last but not least in here you have your manuals and your spare propellers. Well, you have your pr regular propellers here. These two sets are your propellers for the drone because it doesn't have any on it right now. And then you have one set of spares uh, for one replacement on the black counterclockwise and one on the gray uh, clockwise ones. So all in all, you get six spares if you buy the fly more combo. But regardless, here are your manuals. You can scan this to go on their Facebook Messenger app and get support yeah but yeah i honestly just usually download the manuals to my phone because these are pretty bland otherwise so now let's get to the exciting part which is the drone uh, looking at it feels a lot heavier than the original mavic pro it's definitely longer right there off the bat you can see it even without the arms and stuff sticking out this is just a longer body and then looking on from the front, it's about the same height, maybe a little thicker there, but really hard to tell uh, overall. Look at the specs online. But what you can notice very easily looking at the two drones is all the new sensors that they've added. You can see they added a light on the bottom, of course, which is pretty cool. So if you're landing at night or just in low light stuff, it's going to be a lot brighter and easier for the drone to pick up the ground and hit the same spot every time. And then on, of course, the top, you got the sensor there. You got a sensor on the back, right? Boom, boom. Like, they just put sensors everywhere, honestly. You shouldn't ever rely on the sensors to make sure you don't hit something, but they're really nice to have in case you, you know, 
don't see something or that you lose connection with the drone and it's flying back so it doesn't just plow into a tree and fall on. So it's nice that they're putting some extra sensors in there. Uh, I think they've probably hit their limit for how many they can put in, but we'll see. Maybe it's going to sense the future and read your fortune all in one, the next model. So let's put away the Pro and look at this two here, folding it out. It's the same way the other, all the other models have done it forward on the front two arms and the back ones fold out like that. And then we'll look at the camera. Now, a lot of people have definitely complained about this camera housing, um, the protection unit here. It's very hard to put on and take off supposedly. I wish they would figure out something easier, but that's kind of been the hallmark thing with all these camera gimbal protectors is that they're pretty hard to take on and off, but just got to get used to it. Take your time and you'll get it right eventually, hopefully. So looking at that camera, it's a lot bigger than the one on the original Mavic Pro. Obviously it's that one inch sensor uh, and Hasselblad, of course, a very good camera makers that DJI basically owns. So you know there's more than just a little partnership there. Um, also, one thing to point out is that it is a fixed, uh, low, or it's adjustable aperture, sorry, but it's 2.8, which is very nice for if you want to get some really good shallow depth of field for closer objects, or if you just want to let in a ton of light so you don't have to crank the ISO up and can go with a little higher uh, shutter frame. That's really cool too. So overall, Really impressed with this drone out of the box. I think DJI has itself a winner here. I'm really excited to see how they can top this with the Phantom 5 when it comes out, because this one now is sitting at the price point that the previous Phantom models were sitting at, at around 1500. So DJI is gonna have to up the price as well as the specs, probably putting in some interchangeable lenses or something like that. But yeah, that's about it guys. I Hope this video was somewhat informative. There was a lot to take out of the box here, so it's kind of a mess, but hopefully you got some information about what you're getting when you purchase this. I've been flying drones for a while, and DJI, unfortunately, is really the best one out there. There's not many choices, so if you're looking for a drone, the Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom are really the best on the market right now. They're pretty expensive, but you know you're getting what you pay for because DJI really has done a lot of work in the past two years to elevate themselves above all the competition while also destroying all the competition. Yeah. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments, of course. Like this video, subscribe, and check me out on all the social media. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a nice day. Peace out. Bye.